Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Mr. B Clothing here at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in gorgeous Clive, Iowa. He's Tim Sitzman. I'm Chris Williams. And Tim, the sidewalk sale is behind us. Yeah. And I, the guys are the, the fall stuff. I'm seeing a little more. Uh, you know, you come gear. in, it's a little less crowded yeah. right now. We're putting new things in every day. But you know what? Today's weather, it's 70 degrees out Perfect. there. It makes you feel like you need a sweater, Feels a little like light a jacket. Early October, late yeah. September day. This is an exciting time for us. We're going in the what we feel in our business, the best part of the year. We have, you know, coats and sweaters and gloves and scarves and all kinds of things to sell. So our, our guys get real geared up for this. And we have a great staff, Steve, Mac, Mike, John, Darren, myself, Andy. Yeah, any of these guys, they're uh, seasoned staff ready to help you all the way into the holiday season, and it's never too early to start shopping for holiday. Absolutely Pick not. Pick up that item that you know is right. Will you gift wrap a Christmas gift right now? Absolutely we will. We have Christmas gifts wrapped year-round. Well. Year-round. I mean, we, we do it all the time, and uh, just a little bit of our service here at Mr. B at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in beautiful Clive Isle. Speaking of year-round, uh, we're talking football year-round. It's CycloneFanatic.com yeah, sure constantly, yeah, and it's we're we're in the middle of Sitzman's picks right now. We're, we are. We're, we're picking the games for the Iowa State football season. Uh, we've been doing this for I think this is our fourth year of doing this specifically, and right now you've got Iowa State off to a three and four start. Games uh, a tough one against Oklahoma and a game I would imagine you'll probably pick the Cyclones to be victorious in uh, the road trip to Kansas to to kick off November. So uh, I'll let you speak. When, Oklahoma, Tim, is a team a lot of people think might win the national championship this year. What do you think? Well, I, I don't know if they're going to win the national championship. I don't know if I'm ready to step up and say that, but I think it's going to be a real tough one for the Cyclones, and I don't think we're going to get a win here. But, but they, I, they upset Oklahoma State a couple years ago. I, I, you just know. the dice. You no. just never know. You no. just never know. But the, I think this one for everybody, what's happening, I think we're going to see a better team by the Oklahoma game. I think we're going to see a tougher game than most people would expect, but I, I still think the Sooners are going to come out on top for, on this one. And uh, uh, you know, I, I uh, saw the old Ankeny boy in the and the paper. Joel Lanning, yeah, yep. Joel Lanning, and I was hoping that maybe he gets a chance to run the ball a little bit for him. And you never know what's going to happen this year with three quarterbacks. Joel Lanning reminds me of Blake Bell yep. from from Oklahoma. He, he really does. Yeah, He's a big guy, and he can throw and can run and. Uh, we'll see. I, you know, there's a lot of there, there's a lot of things that could happen this season that's going to surprise even the Cyclone fans. Uh, I think we're going to have a better team by the end of the year than certainly we saw that that schedule as we've talked uh, the last few the few weeks. Woo! Brutal. She's just, a bear. Just brutal. She's I don't know many many teams that have that tough a schedule from start to finish. I mean, North Dakota, even t talking the opening game with North Dakota State when we're kind of just fresh and we're just trying to learn new offenses and everything. Yeah. I think it's a win as I predicted, but. Yeah, everything is tough. And it, well, notably too about that game, Tim. It came out earlier this week. Offshore, I know this is offshore. It's not official, right. but Iowa State's actually an underdog to, to I, North Dakota State. I did State. not. Well, they're going off yeah. last year's record. Yeah, it's know. an offshore, but yeah. it's still a legitimate betting line. If you wanted the action on it, you could get it. So they're two point underdog right now. So. I, I'd be quite honest. I'd be shocked to death if if that is a loss. I'd be shocked. But if if I were a big better, yep. which I'm not. I'd be on the clones. I, 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 I'd take a long, hard look at that football uh, game. But I'd be on the clones, no, time, no, no kidding. But. At Kansas, Iowa State, yep. two years ago, if you remember that game, at Kansas was the uh, the big Sam Richardson debut. A right. concussed steel Jance had gone down. Sam Richardson comes out of nowhere, goes 23 for 27, four touchdowns, led Iowa State to a route of a what was a pretty bad Kansas team at the time. Oh. I like Iowa State to win this game. However, uh, Kansas is they're going to win a Big 12 game at some point. They're due to turn the quarter at some point. Will it be this year? I don't know. Will it be against Iowa State? Who knows. But I I think this is a lot of I think it's a game a lot of Iowa State fans are writing down in pen is a W. Problem is Kansas does that when they look at Iowa State coming right. to town. Too. This could be a better game than what some people think. I, I think it'll be a good game. I think Iowa State wins it by 10 points, but I think if you're a Kansas fan, you're you're circling Iowa. You're, you're, yeah. you're, you're circling Iowa State. There's a W. There's a W. They pick out three or four. You got to build a program back that way. You mm -hmm. can't. You can't. You're not going to put Oklahoma in Oklahoma State and 
Texas, wow. and you're not going to circle Baylor this year for sure. Yeah, you know, absolutely. So, you know, those those games are tough games for Kansas. But this is one they think they can win. And when you're on your home turf, it's you never know what's going to happen. But I think this is one the Cyclones have better circled as they look for those, that year to get a bowl game back. Must win for Iowa State. If they want yeah. a bowl game, they got to win this one, and I, I predict they will. So you got Iowa State at five wins with, excuse me, I believe four wins with three games to right, go. Right, right. Winnable games, too, I, I believe. I think the end of the season, I talked about that at the beginning of our yeah. conversation, that the yeah. end of the season is when we can win our ball games. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what you do. We're going to be back next week. We're going to round out two of the last three games and then – Right before the season, I'm going to allow Tim to make his final pick, which I believe might come down for bull eligibility. So we'll see. We'll we'll see how this plays out. You know, I, I you know we'll see how it plays out. But right. we got three tough games. There aren't easy games, nope. and everybody that's a, a fan out there knows that this schedule every week is not a there's not a win on it that's really a guarantee. All right, he's Tim Sitzman. My name is Chris Williams. Thanks for watching, everybody. Come on down to Mr. B Clothing, 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. If any of our staff would love to have you. Come they would. And tell us where you, why you came in. We'd love to know that. Absolutely. Sit along, everybody. <laughs>